It's cooking time with Fred. I'm Fred! Hello, welcome to cooking time with Fred. Today we are going to be working with eggs. Now, some like their eggs scrambled, others like them sunny side up, but me, I like them plain. Mmm. Today we will be making an egg sandwich. What you'll need are eggs, bread, and your favorite syrup. To start, take your two pieces of bread and lay it on your plate. Next, get your favorite type of sauce and just cover it in, cover your bread in it. Next up, you need the eggs. Now, no one likes the disgusting middle of the part, so you just crack it in a bowl to get rid of it. Then you just take your eggshells and just put them all over your bread. You have a sandwich. Mmm, delicious. That's it for cooking time with Fred. Have a good night and enjoy your sandwich. It's cooking time with Fred. I'm Fred. Welcome to Cooking Time with Fred. I am sadly Fred. Today we'll be making chocolate chip cookies. Now what you'll need for that are eggs, flour, sugar, chocolate chips, and pixie sticks. Alright, first what you're going to need to do is mix everything into a bowl. First you'll put in your flour. Next, some sugar. Then, some chocolate chips. Then, some pixie sticks. And, of course, eggs. Now, because eggs are so great, you're probably going to need a couple more. Next you need to mix this up. Now, some people like to use beaters. Well, I'll just use my hands here. The best part about making cookies is eating the cookie dough. Mmm, delicious! Now it's time to put the cookie dough on the cookie sheet. Now I forgot an ingredient. You need a paper towel. It just cooks right in. You just throw on your nice cookie dough, right onto there. Perfect cookies, every time. Now, when you put your cookies in, you want your oven set to 546 degrees. Then, set your timer here for about 21 seconds. Once your cookies are done, you can just take them out of the oven. Mmm, just like Grandma. That's it for Cooking Time with Fred. I'm Fred. See you later. It's Cooking Time with Fred. I'm Hola, and welcome to the Christmas episode of Cooking Time with Fred. Today we'll be making a Christmas pie. Your ingredients for this pie are pie crust, frosting, and now and layers. Because nothing says Christmas like now and layers. Now, what you'll need is a lot of frosting here for a nice base to your Christmas pie. Now, push it down all over your pie here. Just spread it all over here. Just get it on your pie in any way, or shape, or form. Hmm, isn't that wonderful? 
Ho, ho, ho. Now we have the now and layers. Now, you only want to use the green and red ones to make it look like Christmas. And you don't really need to take the paper off because it doesn't come off anyway and it just tastes so good. Mmm, chewy. Then you just take a whole bunch of these now and laters there and just put them all over your pie. Purple one. To make it look more Christmassy, just put this nice bow on top. Now, you're going to want to put it in the oven at 627 degrees. Then you want to bake it for about, we'll say six seconds. It takes so long. After time has elapsed, you can just take out your pie. Doesn't it look good? It's really good. Feliz Navidad, everyone. It's cooking time with Fred. I'm Fred. Howdy, welcome to Cooking Time with Fred. Today I'm going to show you how to make my coffee. Now, what you need first to make Fritz Signature Coffee is the finest coffee grounds available. Mmm, smells like coffee. Most people like to use water when they make their coffee. I like chocolate milk. I like a little extra kick in my coffee, so I add barbecue sauce to help get me going. Some people like to use sugar or cream to make their coffee taste better. I think salty coffee tastes good. Now, the most important thing for coffee is coffee. Right, right, right. Next, you need your liquid in there. Not too much, because it'll make the coffee taste bad. Then you get your little kick in here. And then salt. And you just mix it up here and you're ready to enjoy your coffee. Once you add your coffee, you're ready to start your day and head off to the rodeo. Yeehaw! 